We're still close. Oh god, I'm not reading this whole plot. Look at that. No, oh, that's the fucking plot. Hi, welcome back to Whitey the White Guy movie review. I'm Whitey, this is Cracker, and we just almost tried to watch the movie Catwoman, but Halle Berry. Five minutes and 50 seconds. We got five minutes and 50 seconds into the film and decided no mas, por favor, uh, something, something, something. And that's including, was it three and a half minutes of slow exposition? Oh, but no, no it were opening credits of shit that you... So here, here's America. Listen to me, okay? <laughs> you listen to me, filmmakers. The first thing you have to do in a film is understand your audience. This is Cracker. He is your audience. If you're making a comic book film, Cracker's coming to see it and nobody else. So what's Pretty the much. first thing you don't do is make a film designed for anybody other than Cracker. And that's what went wrong with Catwoman because it's clearly written for chicks and nobody cares about chicks. <laughs> and this is why instead of getting laid tonight, you were watching I Catwoman am watching making a with Cracker. Fuck. <laughs> Makes sense now, doesn't it? Yeah. It all comes full circle. Yeah, women hating doesn't get you late. But the point is, the the film starts, and there's this horrible, the the credits go on for like three minutes. Yeah, it was like three and a half, I think. And then, then you see Halle Berry floating in some water, and she says, the day that I died was the day I learned to live. And it's clearly like little 14-year-old girls, mm -hmm. oh, you're boring life, and nobody cares about you because and so it's the whole escape your monotonous, isolated life and go be Catwoman. Clearly where you're heading. And the next thing is two business, snobby well, business. First, well, after, uh, the uh, thing is, after she, we, we, she, we hear that monologue or whatever, we see yeah. she's introduced. And you were real good comparing her to Sarah, Sarah Connor. Connor. It's Sarah in Connor first Connor Terminator type. movie because, you yeah. know, she's the lonely... Nerd she's struggling a lot. She's running through a crowd and everybody's bumping into imagery, her. but it's like yeah. seeing it. You know bumping into her, they don't say, excuse me, you know, she's all meek right. and intimidated, and you know, by the because end, she's, she's going to be the badass and all this shit. Right. This is no James Cameron film. No. And then the next thing you see is the snobby, upper-class CEO guy. And so it's like, oh, men are horrible. Great. So, Cracker and I are going to go see this film and get a lecture about how we're assholes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what we want to do on a Saturday. In the comic book movie. We don't want to project ourselves onto characters who are badasses to escape reality. No, no, no. We want a lecture. But the problem, again, is that in the why this film is not regarded by anybody for anything and is a total failure, yeah. is that your audience is cracker. Look at him. Look long and hard at this man. Is your audience comic book movie people. So when you go to make your film... Don't make a chick flick that says guys are a bunch of assholes because they're the ones in the audience. Especially if it's a comic book movie. Yes, well, that's why I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm speaking for Wait. people like Cracker instead yes. of, you know, your... your everybody, your everybody is, it's a comic book. For that's your, your primary demographic. Now, you can try to bring in women and go, oh, it's Catwoman. Here's the thing. Women don't give a flying fuck about comics. No. Even, even if it's Catwoman, even if it's a female character, it's guys like Cracker who have been uh, trying to outpace their feminine side uh, who project themselves on the Catwoman and be like, why can't I fit into the tights? Because I look like this. Yeah. Because of fast food and soda. Mountain Dew killed the generation. But so the point is, it, it, it's a miss on the audience. So we got we figured, And we figured that like less than six minutes in, and it says we have an hour and, and 44 minutes total. Sharon Stone shows up, and then she's like, I'm no longer to be. So you have what girls are, which is no one cares about you, which is you got the, Catwoman at the beginning. You got the meek, you yeah, know, ignored right. Halle Berry, and then you yeah, got the, the evil Sharon, business woman, Sharon, Sharon Stone, Stone, who's no longer wants to be the idol of the community, everything women want to be. But they're too good to be there because they're moral and decent. But men are at, and have already lost. I've already lost. I'm out. So not even six minutes, Catwoman. Fuck you. Wikipedia that shit if you want to know how it's going to happen. Because I'm not. You know what? I think I might actually just throw this in the middle. <laughs> yeah, way. send it. Send it back. And the thing is, I have OCD. I have, I have OCD. So I'm the type right. of thing. I have to finish a book. I have to finish a movie. 
I don't how want does, to. How does that OCD work when you're just like us? But is it like shit on a shelf is going to be just so? Exactly. But then you can be covered in breadcrumbs? Yeah, there's no crumbs. Here, there's some hair. Oh, yeah, there are crumbs. I was eating on the way over here. <laughs> This is your audience. This people. is your audience. I'm driving to Zach's house, eating with the what window down. What is my name again? Just edit this shit. Whitey. Exactly. Hey, this is my second video. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you made the print. So, Catwoman. <laughs> Fuck you. Why the white guy, Whitey, crack it. Have a good night. Sure, whatever.